there are at least 160,000 different known species of flies on Earth, with many more still to be discovered. Some of them carry deadly diseases, and others can lay their eggs inside our bodies. So it's time to enter the creepy world of our planet's top 15 most dangerous flies. Number 15, tsetse fly. Thought to have been around for as long as 34 million years, tsetse flies are found throughout the tropical climate regions of Africa, and there are currently 34 known subspecies across the continent. In their adult stage, they measure around 5 eighths of an inch, or about 1.5 centimeters long, and they have four main physical characteristics that differentiate them from other flies. The first is the distinct proboscis that points forwards from their head, and this is how they feed, while they also have a hatchet-shaped cell in the center of each of their wings, hairs along their antenna, and when resting, they fold their wings back on top of each other. Producing on average four broods of newborns per year and up to 31 of their lifetimes, the females derive all the nutrition they need from feeding on the blood of vertebrates. Using their long proboscis, they can easily puncture the skin of any animal, and while drinking their blood, they inject a series of chemicals that keeps the wound open for longer so they can extract as much as possible. It's this process that makes the TC fly one of the most dangerous insects on the planet because they're carriers of several nasty diseases. The one that affects humans the most is sleeping sickness, which is scientifically known as trypanosomiasis, and it's caused by the introduction of parasites into the blood that lead to symptoms such as nausea, headaches, itchiness, confusion, difficulty sleeping, and potentially death. In 1990, as many as 34,000 people are believed to have died after being bitten by a tsetse fly. And while recent attempts at controlling the problem has caused numbers to drop to around a tenth of this, they still pose a real and present risk to both humans and livestock. Number 14. Screw Worm Fly Native to the tropical regions across the Americas, the screw worm fly is a particularly nasty insect that isn't too problematic as an adult, but can cause a huge amount of damage during its larval stage. Also known as blowflies, there are actually four different species, and while there are noticeable differences between each, their life cycles remain similar. Female flies will lay just one clutch of up to 400 eggs in their lives and release them as close to an opening of a wound on a host animal as possible. Once they hatch, the cream-colored larvae burrow headfirst into the space and will eat through as much live flesh as they can. The cavity that they form is, of course, extremely painful to the host, whether it be a human or another animal, and they'll only leave after around a week before burrowing into soil to pupate. With the potential to cause serious infection and to also attract further screwworm flies, because as adults, the females also feed on the fluids that are secreted by an open wound. They pose a much greater threat to livestock, but can cause lifelong injuries to humans as well, if they just so happen to dig into an important organ. Number 13, scorpion fly. Found in all but the coldest regions worldwide, there are at least 600 different species of scorpion fly, a name that they get because of the apparent stinger that raises up from the back of their body and looks almost identical to that of a scorpion. In fact, this doesn't pose any danger at all and is instead their genitals that are used in an elaborate display during mating season. But this doesn't mean that scorpion flies are completely harmless. Growing between 0.1 and 1.4 inches, or 2 to 35 millimeters long, their appearance is normally more than enough to scare people to such an extent that their attempts at avoiding them causes accidents. There have therefore been a number of traffic collisions that have been attributed to the presence of scorpion flies, but the insects also have a far greater connection with death than you'd expect. They have a particular taste for decaying human flesh. In places where they're present, they'll often arrive to feast on a dead body within a matter of hours. This actually helps the efforts of forensic pathologists because if a corpse is found that's riddled with scorpion flies, it's evidence that a person has only very recently died. Number 12, spotted lantern fly. Native to China, India, and Vietnam, but having recently established large populations across Japan, South Korea, and the United States, spotted lantern flies are a highly invasive species that can cause serious damage if their population numbers aren't kept in check. Measuring up to an inch or about two and a half centimeters long, they're easily identifiable by their grayish forewings that are speckled with black dots, along with the crimson hind wings that are sometimes visible in a way that gives the impression that they have red crests. 
There are some specific species of tree that spotted lanternflies will always make their home if available. But as it's only present in China, there are also as many as 70 alternatives that they'll also be attracted to elsewhere in the world, such as grapevines, fruit trees, and ornamental trees. They feed on the sap of the host tree, if in large enough numbers will, as a result, kill the tree, which will have serious consequences for the natural ecosystem. Even if this doesn't happen, the exposure of the sap attracts ants, bees, and wasps, and the unusual increase in the number of stinging insects in the vicinity can be problematic for people or other animals too. It's both because of the damage to the environment and the potential effect on people's safety that has led to large-scale attempts designed to eradicate spotted lanternfly from everywhere but their natural habitats. But short of releasing a species of wasp that's their only natural predator into new regions, a plan that itself has a number of huge risks, there seems to be very little that can be done to halt their spread. Number 11. Housefly We're all familiar with common houseflies, and it's easy to see them as little more than a minor annoyance. We'll swat at them or perhaps use sprays and sticky strips to clear them from our homes. And while we'd probably prefer they weren't around at all, most people accept that there will always be one or two buzzing around. The problem is that because of their behavior, houseflies can actually be a host to at least 65 severe illnesses that they're able to transmit to humans. With a diet of feces, rotten food, and trash, it only takes a matter of seconds for them to pick up a nasty bacteria or a pathogen and spread it to wherever they next land. A fly's constant defecating and vomiting further helps this spread, and they're thought to be the main cause of food poisoning and diarrhea in the United States. As well as these, they're also able to carry anthrax, cholera, salmonella, tuberculosis, typhoid, and a vast array of different parasitic worms. Meaning, the next time you see one of these buzzing about, it's probably best you get rid of it as soon as possible. Number 10. Assassin Fly The assassin fly, which you may also known as a robber fly, is the name given to a family of flies called the Acillidae, which account for around 7,000 different species. Known for having short, spiny legs and relatively strong bodies, they're a highly aggressive, predatory insect that typically catches their prey in flight. They will target other insects like butterflies, bees, wasps, and spiders, and their secret weapon is their proboscis, which is extremely tough, so it can be sharply stabbed into the body of the target and used to inject saliva that contains neurotoxins and a number of other compounds. This paralyzes their prey almost immediately and liquefies their insides, which the assassin fly can then simply slurp out through the proboscis. In just the same way that they're hostile in an attack, they're also highly aggressive in defense, too, and this is how humans occasionally get bitten by them. If you accidentally brush up against one or try to pick it up, it's quite likely going to try to use its proboscis against you, and this could prove to be an extremely painful experience. Number 9. Deer Flies With an estimated 250 different species, deer flies can be found in just about every country in the world, with the exception of Antarctica, Hawaii, Iceland, and Greenland. Typically growing to around a third of an inch or 8.5 millimeters long, they may at first look like house flies, but they behave very differently. That's because they're a type of bloodsucker that will target humans or other animals, and rather than having a proboscis to pierce through the skin and use like a straw, they have a far more damaging approach. Instead, the females use their scissor-like mandibles to cut into the flesh with a cross-shaped incision, and then they lap up the blood that seeps out as a result. By applying an anticoagulant in their saliva, they're able to prolong the amount of time that fresh blood is available, but this has the potential to cause severe allergic reactions in the victim. As is common with insects that drink directly from the bloodstream, deer flies can be a host to a series of diseases that they transmit between animals and humans, the most dangerous of which is tularemia, which is more commonly known as rabbit fever. After infection by the bacteria, symptoms can include a severe fever, ulcers on the skin, and significantly enlarged lymph nodes. And even though it's now effectively treated with a strong course of antibiotics, it still has a 4% fatality rate. Number 8. Fruit Fly The chances are you've seen plenty of fruit flies in your life, mainly because they're able to breed so quickly. Found in countries all over the world, they're attracted by the sweet scents of rotting fruit and vegetables, and even wine and beer. And once they've found a substantial food source, they begin to multiply. 
females can lay as many as 500 eggs at once that will hatch within 24 hours, and they'll reach adulthood within a week or so. Before you know it, there'll be thousands of these brown, red-eyed flies swarming around. They usually only grow to around a tenth of an inch, or about three millimeters long. And once you see them taking hold in an area, the only way to keep things hygienic is to deeply clean the space and throw away all food that they've touched. That's because in a similar way to house flies, fruit flies also breed in moist and unsanitary environments, such as drains and trash bins, and can easily spread harmful bacteria and pathogens onto new surfaces. Number 7. Mosquito With a name that translates to mean little fly, there are as many as 3,600 different known species of mosquito, and they are, in the right circumstances, the most dangerous animal on the planet. Typically growing between a tenth and a fifth of an inch, or three to six millimeters in length, they have one pair of long, narrow wings and have long, thin legs. They're an ancient species of fly, too, with the first mosquitoes appearing in the fossil record about 99 million years ago. But it's thought they emerged far earlier than that. They require bodies of water to breed, with the eggs being laid on the water's surface. And once they hatch, a larva emerges that feeds on algae and other organic material. Once they reach adulthood, both males and females will begin to feed on nectar and plant juices. But in some species, the females also have specifically adapted mouth parts that can be used to pierce the skin and drink blood. The proteins that they get from the blood are vital to their ability to produce eggs, so they'll fly around in search of worthy targets. They are able to detect the levels of carbon dioxide in the air, as well as using eyesight to determine which humans or animals are worth attacking. And they're also attracted by specific smells that they can sense from sweat and the blood itself. As they begin puncturing the skin with their proboscis, they inject their saliva first, which has an anticoagulant property and prevents the proboscis from becoming clogged. It's this that causes the swelling around the site of the bite, and it's also the stage that can prove deadly to the target. That's because mosquitoes can be host to a wide range of different diseases, such as malaria, dengue fever, Zika, and many more. And these can quite easily prove to be fatal. It's thought that as many as 700,000 people die per year as a result of illness they've contracted after being bitten by one, and that 5% of all people that have ever lived have succumbed to a mosquito-hosted disease. This makes them responsible for more human deaths than any other animal, and even with attempts to limit their numbers, this is likely to continue to be the case for a long time to come. Number 6. Horsefly Around the world, there are at least 5,000 different species of horsefly, and they're present in virtually every country, something that means almost everyone on Earth could, at some point in their lives, experience a bite from one. Growing to a length of up to an inch, or two and a half centimeters, and with a wingspan of up to 2.4 inches, or about six centimeters, they look large as they fly around during the daytime. In a similar way to mosquitoes, the female horseflies have mouth parts designed for extracting blood from animals. But instead of having a proboscis, these are instead made up of two sharp cutting blades and a sponge-like appendage. These cutting blades are used to rip through the flesh, and the spongy part is used to mop up the blood that comes out of the wound. This can be quite painful for humans, especially if the wound gets infected and a horsefly bite can on occasion cause side effects such as dizziness, wheezing, or even swelling around the lips and eyes. They are also disease carriers for illnesses that target livestock, which means that horseflies can potentially cause a significant reduction in the growth rates of cattle and the volume of milk that's produced by cows if they aren't provided with enough shelter from the insects. Number 5. Flesh Fly the flesh flies are a family of insects that contain around 2,500 different species and get their name because of the way that they lay their eggs. Instead of depositing them to allow them to hatch, the maggots begin to develop while the females still have the eggs and emerge almost instantly after being put in their ideal surroundings, which for these insects is the moist, nutrient-rich environment of rotting flesh, dung, or open wounds. The adult flies themselves also feed on the fluids that are released around the large cut or wound, but it's the juvenile maggots that cause the most damage because they need to extract the protein from flesh to move on to the next stage in their life cycle. Of course, this can be extremely painful for the people or animals as the maggots feast inside their bodies, but they also have the potential to transmit life-changing diseases too. 
Flesh flies are notorious carriers of leprosy in particular, and can also cause intestinal infections due to the parasites they carry if you're unfortunate enough to accidentally eat one. Number four, black flies, buffalo gnats. Black flies, which you may also know as buffalo gnats, are a group of around 2,200 fly species that are found across the planet. In the United States, they're one of the more common types of fly you'll find, with most states having measures in place to try to suppress their population numbers, and elsewhere in the world, they're linked with the spread of various different diseases. They are relatively small and lay their eggs in running water where the larvae can attach themselves to a solid object and filter food from the passing currents. Once they've gathered enough nutrients, they pupate underwater and will then emerge as an adult within a small air bubble that allows them to breach the surface and fly off into the sky. The males will then begin feeding on fruits and nectar, but the females must drink blood to be able to produce a clutch of eggs. Some species have specific animals they need to target, but most will be opportunistic, whether it be humans, livestock, or creatures in the wild. Their bites can be extremely painful, but the real danger from them comes from the parasites that sometimes breed inside them, and in Africa in particular causes the spread of river blindness, which is the second most common cause of blindness due to infection on Earth. Number three, sand fly. As the name would suggest, sand flies are flying insects that usually live in or around sandy regions, whether they be beaches or deserts. It's a catch-all term that covers a large number of different species, but they're all usually bloodsuckers, whereby the females need the protein in blood from humans, mammals, reptiles, or birds to be able to produce their eggs. When visiting tropical places around the world, sand flies are an almost guaranteed annoyance that you'll have to face. But luckily, most bug sprays help to keep them at bay. And that's a good thing too, because depending on where you are, there's a chance that the flies carry one of several diseases that could make life very difficult for a long time. For example, they carry the Chandipura virus, which is closely related to rabies and were responsible for an outbreak in India in 2010. While they can also transmit Carrion's disease and an illness that causes leishmaniasis that causes severe skin lesions. Number 2. Australian Bush Fly Native to regions across Australia where, because of the climate, they're actually able to continuously breed in subtropical areas before spreading outwards. The Australian bushfly is a species of dung fly that's closely related to the common house fly. It's because of these flies that the idea of the Australian hat with corks was created and the hand gesture known as the Aussie salute, which are both ways to try to prevent the flies from reaching the face. This is something they're continually trying to do because of the way they're attracted to human moisture, particularly sweat, tears, and saliva. The problem with this is that since they spend most of their lives feeding on dung piles, it's very easy for them to transmit diseases and bacteria, such as E. coli, to humans. And that constant buzzing around your face is, of course, very annoying. With two sets of wings and compound eyes, they're also very good at anticipating an incoming threat and are highly maneuverable in the air, meaning they can easily dart out of the way of an incoming swatting hand and get back in position almost instantly. Number 1. Bot Fly Bot flies are some of the most dangerous insects on Earth, with the name referring to around 150 different individual species. When you see them in their adult stage, they look like any other fluffy fly, but it's their life cycles that are particularly problematic to humans and animals alike. While each species has its own unique versions of how they breed, the element that's common across all bot flies is that their larvae are internal parasites of mammals and are laid on top of the skin. Upon detecting the warmth beneath, the botfly larvae then begin to emerge and burrow underneath where they'll either take up residence within the flesh itself or inside the gastrointestinal tract. From there, they'll begin to eat their surroundings to take all of the nutrition they need to grow and will eventually be ready to pupate to become an adult. And it's at this stage that they'll finally leave the host body and bury themselves into the ground. A person or animal that has a botfly larva inside them will at first notice a wound where it's entered through the skin, and there's a noticeably hard lump just beneath the surface that will get larger from day to day. It's obviously much easier for humans to communicate their discomfort when this is happening though, so it's not unusual for certain species of animal to be slaughtered such as reindeer when the skin is being removed to find dozens of botfly larvae on the inside of the pelt. 
In some cultures, larvae at this stage are seen as a delicacy, but if you ever do eat one, you must make sure you chew it enough so it simply doesn't reattach within your own intestines and continue growing from there. Watch our animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.